Yo, what's going on guys? Sean on here from Atlas Peak Performance here with another technical analysis. Here we have Parker Allen, discus thrower. He's a, he's just a youngin', so um, without further ado, let's uh, check his throw out. He says he's got his state championships coming up soon. So honestly, uh, as a whole, not terrible. Not bad. Um, biggest thing I see wind up is uh wind up is pretty solid nice and smooth controlled and then as soon as you start this movement here is where you go wrong parker um your left foot all right so you're wound up you have your weight over your right side pretty well you i can i, I can see the tension and kind of torque in your in your right hip um but then you have all that 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 weight on your right side you need to shift it over to your left so you're all over here and then as you unwind, you need to unwind and shift to your left. And a um, huge telltale sign of this as you, as you go is, first off, you don't really quite, you just kind of sit this hip back and kind of sit back into the throw, which is, uh, I mean, you could do worse things, I guess. But there's definitely much more uh, there in the throw if you shift your weight to your left foot. So shift from wind up to your right, unwind over your left side. This left foot left knee, left hip, left shoulder should be the axis of this entry uh, in the throw, in the start of the throw. So you wind up over the right, you unwind over the left. You can see you're, you're kind of back over this, sitting back, and when I said this hip should be pretty much over this left foot. Um, and then as you enter, big no-no, huge no-no. This is probably the biggest uh, biggest problem in your throw 100% is this left foot comes off the ground and you don't really turn or rotate on it. You literally pick it up off the ground and put it down and open it up. So if you were to rotate around this left side and you got to this position right here, it's not bad. Definitely could be improved. But um, like I said, this left foot needs to stay on the ground. You need to shift your weight to the left and unwind around that left side and sweep this right leg to the middle uh, and then that's another thing right there so first off keep that left foot on the ground no matter what don't pick it up and put it back down before you enter uh, into the middle of the ring and then even after that um, I could I would like to see the disc up just a little bit more uh, I know you're throwing a lighter disc so it's not as big of a deal um, but I think that would help out and then your right leg as it comes to the middle you can see you're kinda toes down you're kinda leading with your knee um, I'd rather see you enter or start that right leg sweep with sort of an open foot almost lead with your heel lead with the inside of your leg it'll help with separation through the middle of the circle you can see as you see as you come through the middle your right foot is sort of pre-turned um, which isn't terrible and there's just a little bit of rise uh, you extend off this left foot, try to stay down and just go push straight across the ring. Don't push up at all. Just go across the ring, kind of skate across it. And I think if you led to the middle with that inside of the leg just a little bit more, I think you'd get your right foot down sooner and uh, have just a little bit more separation through the throw. Because uh, as you can see, and you kind of miss the middle just a little bit as you uh, come through here. Just a little bit off to what looks like more off to the left than, than dead center, but I'm not too big on those things. Uh, I think it's more about the general positions and movements. Um, but I guess once we get to the finish, you can kind of see here even. So like I said, getting that separation leading through the middle with that right leg would help out because as this left foot comes down, discus position is kind of back, but I think there's there's more torque. You can get more torque throughout the the left, the left side, right side separation, uh, especially in the finish. And like I said, as you as you come through the middle with that right side, you kind of miss the middle. And this is what I was wary about: was your left foot kind of blocks off. So like it, it looks right here like your right toe points, or if you were to draw a straight line from your right toe forward through the sector, it looks like it would line up with about your left heel. When in reality, it should be the opposite. Your um, left toe should kind of line up with your right heel, so you can kind of open up that uh your hips and work your hips all the way through the throw whereas now you're very blocked off and it is hard to 
finish the discus all the way through without jumping and kind of coming off that left side. So, and a weak little finish, just a little bit. I think if you uh, fix up that power position and uh, some of the other things I said, I think you'd come through it much better. Yeah, those hips are a big thing. Your left side's not bad. Just try to stay down and work the ground more longer through the finish. And then, um, yeah, not too far off. Like I said, there's a lot of big things you could fix. I don't know how much you'll be able to fix in the next week or so, but there's definitely a lot more to work on over the coming years, that is for sure. Uh, so good luck to you, Parker. I uh, hope you do well this coming week. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you guys want a technical analysis of your own, visit www.lspperformance.com. Go to the service and resources page and uh, sign up now. Thanks for watching.